Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I want to thank one of the biggest sponsors of this channel for the last several years, and that's the USCCA, the United States Concealed Carry Association. Gets you ready for what happens before, during, and after a la an act of lawful self-defense. And it's already November 1st, I can't believe it. And in two short weeks, I will be down in Fort Worth, Texas at the convention center at the annual USCCA Concealed Carry and Home Defense Expo. That's November 11th, 12th, and 13th at the convention center right down in Fort Worth, Texas. Come on down, say hi. You can meet some of your favorite uh, creators. I hate the word influencer, but a lot of us will be down there. You can learn more about the USCCA. You can also, there's a live firing range. You can also shoot some guns there. And the best part is it's unlimited free rounds of ammunition. That's a win. There'll also be a lot of other seminars from a lot of people who are presenting who are the big names in their categories. For more information, if you want to come join us, hit that link right down below for more information. And thanks to USCCA for being phenomenal to my family and myself. All right, guys and gals, I'm going to give you another uh, snafu of gun control that is going to go into effect this month on November 14th. Shocker that it's one week after the election. They did this on purpose. And I'm putting this out for you as a reminder so that you can remember this information as you go to the polls in a couple days. And of course, if you're not aware, I'm talking about the enhanced background checks for adults aged 18, 19, and 20 years old. Now this came to us via the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act of 2022. That's when all those Republicans said we need to have all this new infringement stuff. We have to have, we have to do something, more gun control, and we're going to fund or bribe states for more red flags. Well, this enhanced background checks for 18, 19, and 20 year olds was part of it, and it goes into effect on the 14th. Now, what does it do? If you're in that age group and you go to buy a gun, then you're going to be delayed up to 10 business days. That delay is going to be used so that they can take your name and address and forward it to your state and local police departments so they can do a further investigation, basically do the FBI and Nick's work for them to figure out if you have any issues that would make you prohibited, such as mental health disqualifiers or now juvenile adjudications. What does that mean? Did you do something as a juvenile, which before November 14th wouldn't have been uh, used, to figure out if you're prohibited or not is now going to be utilized. So they're going to be able to keep more people from exercising their right, their Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms to self-defense. And if you don't have anything in your background, then what they're going to do is that 10-day window can be business days can be shortened. Uh, they'll get a, an updated Brady uh, transfer date, so you could get it sooner than the 10 business days. Now, like I said, that starts on the 14th. If you live in a state where your FFL is what's called a point of contact, where the state does all uh, this stuff, then it's probably already been incorporated, more, more likely than not. But if it hasn't been, and you buy a gun on the 14th or after of November 2022, not sure when you're watching this, then you're going to have uh, an unexpected um, delay in the ability to purchase a firearm. So I hope that angers you if you're 18, 19, or 20. I hope it angers you. If you're 70, it should anger you that they're restricting the rights of people to appease a couple crazy leftists who can't grasp the fact that it's their policies that have created the situations the country's in where crime is crazy, uh, going soft on criminals only empowers them, and they're going to make more people sitting targets. None of this will stop a criminal. This only stops people who are trying to do it the right way by going to buy a gun in FFL and going through the National Instant Criminal Background Check System. So take that information, be angry, be upset, be pissed, and take that anger to the polls and make sure you vote accordingly because these clowns are trying to take away every shred of what is left of the Second Amendment. And we know why they're doing that. Guys and gals, thank you so much for your time. I really look forward to seeing you all at the USCCA Expo. Come say hi, please. If you make it there, I am going there to meet you guys and gals. So please come up and say hi. Let's uh, you know talk. Let's uh, share some, some good times and good stories. And uh, thanks to the USCCA for doing what you do. All right, y'all. Until we see each other again, be safe. Stay vigilant and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. I will see you on the next one, y'all. Take care.